while we're waiting, I may as well blow air into this tank for the fun of it. This one has no air holes. It's just a big, it's, the pipe just ends down there. So that's pretty cool. As you can see, you know, I left this a little bit higher than the, um, the water level so the water won't spill out of here while these guys are still filling up. <clears throat> um, but obviously I have to finish this. Uh, the high blow pump I showed you earlier, I'm gonna have a second one that's essentially like back here. This is the rear wall of the greenhouse. And um, you know, I use these metal studs these are just regular studs for home construction, but they're cool because they don't they don't rust, and uh, you know they're easy to easy to kind of screw to the steel of the greenhouse. Um, these are uh, square um, steel supports, so they're kind of easy to like you know screw stuff to. Um, and I found that these metal studs are they're just kind of nice. I don't have to worry about rot. And uh, I'll probably put like a shelf up here somewhere that I can put the, the high blow air pump and it will just bring air into all of the, the drums that require air. Okay, let's see how we're doing. We are now draining into tub number four. So this is a bit of a process and this is kind of fun. That, this elbow that's turned up is creating a cool fountain effect. Like at a kid's park. And this, of course, is the only time you're going to see that because it will be underwater soon. Um, let's check for leaks. So far, so good. It's not up to this one yet. But man, am I happy to see no leaks on these uniseals. Thank you, US Plastic Corp, or whatever your name is. I'll find out for the viewers, because you guys are awesome, and your products are working. Fantastic. <clears throat> Great. This guy's still swirling away. In theory, dropping off heavy stuff at the bottom. Um, I think like the white tank will be kind of fun because I should be able to see how much sediment starts to fill on the white tank. You know, like if I come in the greenhouse on a nice sunny day, in theory I should see, you know, maybe maybe the bottom starts to have like two or three inches worth of darker sediment. Sediment is uh, not a not a literal term here because there's no dirt in the pool. It's just, you know, old fish poop dead algae maybe the occasional mouse that's fallen in there I don't know um, I hope there's no dead animals in there but there could be a catfish or two that never made it to the surface I suppose but I think most of those guys did make it to the surface and uh, I scooped them out of there so I think it's just fish poop and dead algae so that is what I will call sediment even though it's not literal dirt particles or sand this pump, by the way, I'll, I may do a separate video on the pump, but this guy is able to handle a certain amount of sediment. Uh, not sand, but these guys can be used in drinking water applications, you know, underground wells. Uh, this is not uh, a submersible pump, of course, um, but rather an inline pump. But it's a particular kind that can deal with a certain amount of crapola coming through the pump. You know, so this is obviously picking up crapola. Um, it's not sand and it's not stuff that's going to hurt the pump. Um, there's not even any dead leaves in here. You know, it's this, we're under a greenhouse. So it's just a uh, fairly small particulate related goo. And uh, this pump is just churning it up. No problem at all. Okay. So we're, uh, we're well on our way to returning back to the pool. Um, next video, I I will be waiting for this guy to empty back into the into the pool. <laughs>